I've got my magazine spread here and I want to finish off by adding a video that goes right here at the start of the placeholder. So rather than just seeing a picture, you get a full interactive video. Now I don't want just a video, I want to be an advert for the brand and I want to start as soon as I end the page. So lots of exciting things here, let's have a look at how to do this. So firstly, I enter the video just like I do anything else in InDesign, which is file place. I then navigate to where I've stored the video, which is Inside Interactivity, and here we go. And by the way, this video and all the other content in my videos are Creative Commons. So we go here and we just drag out a box roughly in the right place, which is going to be about there. And let's just resize this to fit what we're doing. And to some degree, we're now done. Now we can do a bit more to this. So we need to go a bit further. At the moment it looks like a blank spot, which does not look very attractive. Let's enhance this. So select the video, double click on the um, area, and go on the right side here into the media tab. Now, firstly, I want to set a screenshot from the actual video to appear in my magazine. So I'm just going to like go through a magazine, the magazine, go through the video and try and find a shot which I think is very striking. These women, that that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. So, the poster, I'm going to say from current frame, which is there. Now, you might actually have an image you'd prefer to go in there, in which case you can just select choose image, and you'll have a placeholder image there rather than something from video. I'm actually really happy with that. I'm also going to click play um, on page load, so as soon as we enter the page, it's load, it plays, which is nice and fun. So that is one thing, and we can also choose a controller, which is the second one down here. So click on this, and there's quite a few different ones to choose from. I'm going to choose skin over play. Right now, that doesn't mean much to you, but we'll see in a second. The last thing I want to choose is show controller on rollover. So to make this into something really cool, I've got a button down here at the bottom. So preview spread, click on that, and this window opens, and I can see my spread. And I'm not sure you can hear the sound on this right now because I'm not sure about the Creative Commons part of that. I don't want this video taken down, but I can hear this dance music in my ears right now. Either way, that video is playing straight away. When I roll over, you can see I've got controls, I can pause, I can play, I can go forward, just like a YouTube video. So this is a great way to get in. Now, once you've exported that, you'll see it playing in the ebook. As long as you've gotten an EPUB 3 reader, there's a link below in how to get one. This will work fine and will really enhance your work.